Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mero and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And this is Zazzle Part 3. I started the Zazzle series last week with a series of Zazzle tutorials trying to narrow down on a single topic when it comes to selling on Zazzle in each and every one of these videos in this series. And the reason for making a Zazzle series and not just making a video, hey, let's sell on Zazzle and then some ideas after that is because Zazzle is one of the biggest print-on-demand marketplaces that I have ever seen. They have over 1,500 different products and customization options, so many different niches, and it's targeting quite a unique audience, as we've seen on part two of the Zazzle series that talked about traffic, where the traffic is coming from, how many views do they have, and what are people actually searching for when they go to search on Zazzle. So Zazzle is a bit of an odd bird. I mean, if we're looking at Redbubble and Teepublic, so t-shirts and stickers, if you're selling art, everybody knows you need to go to Imprint and Display it and Society6, but what are you supposed to do with Zazzle? And I hope that by the end of the series, everybody can find their place in Zazzle or just flat out decide, you know what, this is not for me. Well, the first part of the Zazzle series was mostly about, you know, why you want to sell on the platforms and maybe the advantages of it. And the second one was a lot of information. The third part is finally the part where we start doing something by opening a shop on Zazzle and starting to upload products. Now, for me to be able to do that and for it to look good and, you know, for me to stop wasting my time, I really had to sit down and think about what kind of shop I want to open on Zazzle right now with you guys. And I know that I have my ideas with my cubism portraits to open on Zazzle, but I thought that with my cubism portraits, which are super different and, you know, they're art and they might not fit well a variety of products. And I really want to show you a lot of different products that you can use, that you can put in on a Zazzle store. So what I wanted to do was think of a niche and then go to Creative Fabrica and find some elements that I can play with, that I can upload. And the entire process of creating the products on Zazzle will not include Canva or any design software because I just take everything from Creative Fabrica. So what I thought about for an idea for a store that will be niched, that will have different collections, that will have different products fitting for it, was actually Pride, as we are entering Pride Month in June. So I thought this would be a really cool idea to start a Zazzle shop right now with a little bit of pride elements, uploading to various collections and showing you guys how to upload to different products. Now, a lot of products on Zazzle can be customized by the buyer in a very simple way. All you have to do is tick the box and we're going to talk about that. But a lot of the products on Zazzle are fully customizable in a way that you put a piece of text there that is meant for the buyer to change. And for that, we have a separate part in this Zazzle series, which will be going on live 7 p.m. Bulgaria time on this Saturday. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, hmm, Pride is actually a nice concept, but I think I want to hear a little bit more of shop ideas. That's why we have the Zazzle tutorial series part five, which will be on June 2nd with 35 different ideas for Zazzle shops going over so many of their products, whether it's customizable by the client or not, how much work you need to put into each and every one of the ideas, and a little bit of a marketing tips or niches that could sort of support each other if you want to set up more than one store, because with Zazzle, you can pretty much set as many stores as you want. It's one of the biggest advantages of the platform, right? So you know what? I feel like I'm talking so much uh, about, you know, how to start a shop on Zazzle. Why don't we just, you know, start a shop on Zazzle. Believe it or not, this is Zazzle. This is the first time I'm seeing this. I read here, hey there, we are testing out a new feed experience featuring ideas for the Zazzle community. I literally opened up Zazzle the day before yesterday and it looked like a shop, but now apparently it looks like a social media platform. So yay, Zazzle. <laughs> That's nice. But we're not here to um, be social <laughs> in their platform. We're here to sell on Zazzle. And if you are new to the platform and you've never had a selling profile, all you have to do is click here on sell on Zazzle. It's really super easy. And then follow the steps that they have here for you guys to set up your profile. You might have to also set up your tax information, where you are registered, if you are a US business or not 
I know that I had to submit that I'm not a US business because, well, I'm not. And you're going to also have to set up your billing. But once you do set all of these up, you're going to end up with your profile and your account. And I know that this is the part where a lot of people get confused because they're like, okay, what am I supposed to do? I have seen so many people click on the create button to create something, finding this cool template, creating it, like designing it. And then Zazzle tells you you're not allowed to sell it because you ended up accidentally trying to re-edit someone else's design as a buyer, not to sell. So let's just make things a bit more easy with this one. So I'm going to go to my profile where I can find my stores. Now, I currently have three stores starting to set up on Zazzle. The first one is Miss Jigsaw, but as I don't know if you can see the URL here, it does say zazzle.com slash store slash Arroyo Art. Because when I first opened the store, I called it Arroyo Art. The fact that I changed the name after to Miss Jigsaw does not change the URL. So you might want to decide on a shop name before you actually do anything with it. And I also have here the beginning of Cubism Club, which is my new project, and Wrap With Magic that I started a few months ago for wrapping paper. But what I want to do is open a new store, not any of those. So I'm going to go to my account and click on my profile. And here I have here some of my designs, some of the things that I've saved from various tutorials. And once I go to stores from here, not from my public profile, there is another button here that says open a new store. I told you guys, Zazzle can be quite tricky sometimes. Seriously, this video was edited. It took me four minutes to find that piece of information. I definitely understand why you guys want a tutorial. So I clicked and open a new Zazzle store. And here I need to have a name for the store. And as I said in the beginning, I'm going to try and do something with the LGBTQ community. But for me, this is going to be something cool that I'm going to do on Zazzle. I'm opening this with this tutorial. I might update it. So I'm not really that much into who, huh, what's my name? But for you guys, if you are opening this store and you'd want to invest a lot more in social marketing for that store, like with TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, or even your own website, you might want to check out that the name that you want for the store is also available on Instagram, on Facebook, on a domain of its own before you do that. For me, it's less of an importance right now. So I just think I'm going to call it, let's check if Pride Month is available. No, Pride Month is not available. How about Pride Month Shop? Oh my God. Okay. Pride Month Shop is available. Oh, and I am not a robot. And let's create my store. And now I'm left with information. So the shop name, I can space it up here and you can make the shop private if you don't want anyone to see it. And now we're talking about a tagline and a tagline is sort of this one sentence that explains to everybody what the store is about. And when I say everybody, I mean everybody. I mean the people who enter the store, but also Google and other search engines and even Zazzle. So my tagline is going to be a unique pride shop with LGBTQ plus, uh, with LGBTQ plus gift and everyday item celebrating pride mm, too much everyday items for the lgbtq community too much a unique pride shop with rainbow with a rainbow gift and for the LGBTQ community. I like it like this. And then we have to go about the store. So give me a few seconds because I already have some product in mind that I want to sell. I already have some designs in mind. So uh, let me have a second here. Okay, so a quick about, welcome to the Pride Month Shop, a shop opened right before Pride Month of 2022, honest, right? Dedicated to the LGBTQ plus community worldwide. In this shop, you'll find some cool stickers for the LGBTQ community, along with Pride shirts, notebooks, and journals, 
jigsaw puzzles, gift mugs for your LGBT friends, and so much more. I hope that you'll enjoy this little proud boutique and find something you fancy. And what I have here now is to add store banner image, which I will not be doing now because I want to actually use the mockups from Zazzle from products that I will take. So going down below, I don't have a website URL because I don't have a website for that yet. But if I do, I would definitely put it here. And for tags, let's do LGBT, LGBTQ, Pride, um, want to do Pride flag and Pride month. We are seeing Pride so many times. Let's do Pride again. And let's do Rainbow, Gay, Lesbian, that I misspelled, of course. I feel like I'm typing faster than my computer sometime. Bisexual, pansexual, and trans. And I have here location information if I want to put in city. So I'm putting Bansko because that's where I live. And Bansko is in the Goevgrad and the country of Bulgaria. And submit. Congratulations, my store is open. Let's start designing products. And this sends you to personalized custom gifts. And I know that a lot of people don't know how to get to this point. So I'm going to exit that point. I'm going to go back to my stores and I'm going to show you here that I have Pride Month shop. This is my shop here. As you can see, I do not have currently the banner behind it and I want to change my logo image. So let's click on change. Obviously, at this point, this is the point where you upload your own logo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select a file from several designs that I've already downloaded from Creative Fabrica. I'm thinking about this one. It's a really, really, really cute pride cat. So let's take our pride cat and drag it here while I'm going to show you some cool stuff from Creative Fabrica that I downloaded for this tutorial. So I downloaded this. Rainbow Colors LGBTQ from Revy Devi. I am in love with this. Love is love and it's shaped like a flower. We also have the LGBTQ lips dripping. Um, love who you want. Obviously, these are things that I can do myself on Canva or on Procreate. I just thought it would be really easy to take them from Creative Fabrica as well as this huge bundle here. This uh, pansexual skull, which is super cool, as well as another pride text. This little pride image here, this one, this one, the asexual cat and the pansexual pride and the bisexual pride. The thing is that I know that a lot of people don't know the difference between all of them. We had a specific tutorial just about the LGBTQ niche, uh, showing off all of their colors and everything. So you can find a lot more information on this niche in that tutorial. Going back to my store, I'm going to select my little cat and I can make it smaller or bigger, the size of the icon. I think maybe to zoom in on it, but no, let's just make it all the way through and through and click OK. And that would be my shop banner. Obviously, this should be your logo, a photo of you or one of your best designs. And now what I need to do is add products. But for me, what I prefer to do first is add collections. And when we're talking about collections in a shop, you can go to two different directions. You can make collections that are based on a sub niche or a niche in that case, if you open a more general store, or you can open collections based on products. So for example, if you opened an entire store just for notebooks, then you can have a collection for planners, a collection for artistic notebooks, a collection for recipe notebooks, or if you open, for example, a shop selling t-shirts, so a collection for funny t-shirts for mom, a collection for sarcastic t-shirts for, you know, everybody, and make collections based on that. But you can also make your collections based on products if you are niched. So in my case, with the LGBTQ niche, I can literally have a collection for the general pride, a collection for lesbians, a collection for bisexuals, a collection for pansexuals, or I can choose my collections based on products, which is what I decide to do. And I wrote down here, the products that I want to go with, at least for this tutorial, will be uh, puzzles. <laughs> of course, puzzles. I want to do pride mugs. I want to do shirts. I want to do notebooks. I want to do stickers and wrapping paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my collections and click on new collection and let's call it LGBTQ 
puzzles. It's a public collection, means anyone can see it, and the tags will be LGBT, LGBTQ puzzles. Let's go with jigsaw puzzle and save these up and also type in Pride Month. We can have up to five tags. And the description, which again, describing the item, the product type, the event, and the intended audience. Mm, that's right, celebrate Pride Month all year long with unique LGBTQ friendly, not friendly, LGBTQ themed jigsaw puzzles for all ages. I think that's enough for me for now, even though I'm pretty sure I can talk about this forever. And it's going to be visible on the store Pride Month Shop. Now, I have also a store for Miss Jigsaw. And that's where things get interesting on Zazzle, because I can literally make this collection available on two different stores. But let's not mess around with that right now. And our default store is Pride Month Shop and click Done. Let's do the rest for some other stuff, like for example... so on and so on and so on. I really don't know if I want to do the whole thing with you guys. So we're missing three other collections here, stickers, shirts, and wrapping paper, but don't worry, we're going to continue them later on. And what I'm going to do here is directly go to this button down below that says create and start creating something. So the first thing I want to create is, let's check out all of our products. I want to do t-shirts. So let's go to t-shirt and type in enter. And we have here a lot of different t-shirts for men, for women, for kids, for babies, and for toddlers. And we have here various types of t-shirts in various types of prices. And you can see also the area where you can print stuff out. I do like the women one as well. Let's just do one random t-shirt. Some of them are extremely expensive. I kind of like this one, even though the print is extremely low, the print surface on that one. And oh wow, this is printed embroidered in the back. That's an interesting idea. Uh, but let's just go with something very basic like this one. Men's classic t-shirt. And what I want to do is to add image. So what I'm going to do here is go here to my design. And this is basically what's going to appear on this t-shirt. And this is the Zazzle designer, which is uh, quite horrifying to some people because it's it's kind of gives you a shock, especially when you don't really know the sizes of anything. Figuring out the sizes is one of the difficult parts here. I usually just go by inches, like what is the size of the actual product and then figure out. And I want to upload images from my computer. Now I put in everything that I like from Creative Fabrica here. Obviously I'm going to click select everything because I think Zazzle is going to faint. Let's just try out the simple one, this pride little thing. And I'm going to push it all the way up. Now, let's talk about our options for designing at the moment, because if I'm taking the preview down, I do have the option to take this one and fill it up or fit. I can align it to be in the vertical center or in the horizontal center or push it up to the top, exactly to the top. And let's check out my preview here now. This is what people will get. It actually looks kind of cool. Now, we also have the back print of it. Let's go to my layers which is something we don't really have with a lot of print on demand providers. And here we have the option to print on the back. This can be the same print or this could be something different. So let's go to my files and upload images. And maybe on the back, I want to do something um, not, not with a pride, but maybe I want to do something a bit different, like take like a really small element. I was thinking either that rainbow or this heart. And you know what, let's do a rainbow. And I'm gonna obviously make it smaller, center it. We do have center lines here, so you don't just have to align it with this tool, even though this tool is kind of nice. And I wanna push it all the way up to the top, even make it a little bit smaller. 
I don't know what's with me in this idea. Let's align it full onto the center. Uh, but I kind of like it. So we have here the front of the product and we have here the back. And one of the things that people are mostly frustrated with with Zazzle is the fact that they cannot really take images. There is no right click. I'm clicking on it forever and ever, and it's really difficult. So there are two tricks to getting this photo to be used for my mockups. The first is actually to save it to Pinterest and then download it from Pinterest. Or in the case of what I'm going to do now is to take a snapshot of my screen, which is a feature of a Mac. If not, you can always pin this to Pinterest and then go back to Pinterest and download it from there. So we have this cool little t-shirt here on our preview and we are done. Now that we're done, this doesn't mean that this is on your shop. You just finish designing it and you can add it to cart immediately and order it yourself or click on sell it. And when I go to sell it, I need to put in a title. So let's do pride month back rainbow. That sounds nice. And it automatically adds the word t-shirt to the name of the product. Now I have to choose a department in the marketplace. There is only one to choose from, so that's not so difficult. And a description. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the name from the title to be used in my description and start writing. Enjoy Pride Month Shops, Pride Month Back Rainbow T-shirt, a special T-shirt for the LGBTQ plus community celebrating Pride Month all year long. This LGBT t-shirt has the word Pride in the front with a sweet heart in the colors, yeah, in the colors of the Pride flag as well as a small rainbow on the back. Now, I can sell this design with vivid printing only, classic printing, black only, white only, black and white only, men's only, women's only, kids only, and all that stuff. I want to sell it on white only because it's not going to look good on black. And I'm just going to skip down below where I need to choose categories for this. So the category of events and occasion, let's see if I can find here something, holidays. Do we have Pride Month? I'm not really sure. No, occasions. We can choose here if we want, maybe not graduation for celebration, or we can choose weddings, and we also have others, which is special days, everyday events, current events, expressions. Let's go with expressions of love. Let's go with love. Nope. I don't think we're fitting anything here. Let's exit that one. Uh, we have here the recipient. A suitable recipient for this product is pretty much everyone, so I'm not going to do anything with it. And store category. I'm going to clear this out and select store category, which does not appear here. Let's put it under new products and move it later. And with our tags, I'm going to do Pride Month, Pride Flag, Rainbow Pride, Pride T-shirt, Pride Men. For example, we have room for more tags. So gay, lesbian, pansexual, Pride Celebration, and adding more and more tags. This is not a tag video, guys. Not a tag video. This is suitable for everybody. I don't have here anything very sexual on this t-shirt and everybody can see it. I would like to show a customized button if someone wants to put their name on the back or something else. And here is where I determine my percentage, which I want to take 15%. I do have the rights to publish and sell this product and let's post it. I am getting a bit upset that I can't see my categories, my collections here. But I do have to say, and it has been said in several comments by several people, that the system of Zazzle is extremely buggy. Extremely buggy. Now what we are seeing here, if I'm going to quickly go into my stores, which is Pride Month here. I do have collections that don't have anything. 
Uh, if I'm going into my products, I can see this one. And from here, I can add it to a collection, even though I currently don't have a collection for t-shirts. But this product might not appear if I go to my public storefront just yet because there is nothing there. Zazzle can take a lot of time to get updated. And when you're starting out with a new product and you see this page, don't exit it so fast. Sometimes I leave it open for a long time. I first click here to open the product itself and here it will open just in case I want to grab another mock-up or two. And this will be a direct link to the t-shirt if I want to promote it from social media. But since I'm also an affiliate, I also have a referral link that will give me 15% if anyone buys something other than the royalty. And I can customize the store, see my product, or create another t-shirt. I'm going to leave this thing open and I'm going to go here and click on create just to create another product to show you some more options. And in this case, what I want to do, let's go with wrapping paper. It's one of their most unique items and I actually finally receive my wrapping paper. So there will be a video review about so many Zazzle products in the next few weeks. Now, there are several wrapping paper sheets that you can work with on Zazzle. There are ones that are basically rolling themselves to forever, which requires you to make a seamless pattern of a different size, which I don't have at the moment. What I do have from downloading all these awesome elements from Creative Fabrica is this one which is kind of, the, I think it's a bisexual pride and it's kind of cool. It's really, really awesome patterns that I can put on wrapping paper sheets uh, like this one, which is 19 by 29 inch wrapping paper sheets matte. Let's choose this product. And what you are getting here is that we have front, front two and front three, because this is a set of three different products. And let's click on add image. I'm going to go to upload images where I'm going to select all of these to be uploading all of them. And they're gonna all pop up on this design as they are being uploaded. It's kind of annoying. Let's see that we're finished and click on backspace and delete all of them and then focus on one. We have here the layers. I'm on front, there is front two, front three, which are the three different sheets that I can design here. So I'm gonna start with this one because this one is kind of cool. I'm gonna make it smaller like this. And I'm going to go to tiling and basic tiling effect for this design, which leaves me with this wrapping paper on the preview. The second one is still blank. The third one is still blank. The first one, this is how it looks packaged a set with two other blanks and another set. Let's now go to our second layer, go back to my files, click on a different one, make it smaller maybe even make it a bit on the side, go to tiling and click on basic. And this is another one of our wrapping papers in this set. I'm going to go to layers, go to front number three, go to my files and do this milkshake thing, make it smaller, tile this as a basic, which made it bigger again, even though I didn't want that to do. And if I make it smaller, it splits it. There are a lot of bugs to the Zazzle system, a lot of various bugs to it. And I, I definitely do tell people never touch any of the alignment after you tile stuff because it's kind of annoying and it could break. So it does take some getting used to. These are not the smooth sailing systems of Redbubble, Tee Public, or even Society6, which is a lot easier than this one at some points. But I do have here my set of three different wrapping papers. This is how they look from the back. And this is an awesome view of these wrapping papers, which again, I'm going to activate screenshot, grabbing this and saving this as a file to make my banner. Now I'm going to go to done where I can sell this design by filling out this form and placing it in the right shop category that still does not appear or the shop collection that still does not appear. Now I do want to show you another product and how to get that done so that we can carry on to design our little banner. So let's go to create. And this time we are going to create, 
I think a pride. Do, uh, do you guys want to do a pride puzzle or a pride? Oh, I keep forgetting you guys can't answer me. Let's go to notebooks. Notebooks are some of the most interesting products on Zazzle ever because they have so many different options. And we do have here just a simple spiral notebook or an eight and a half by eight and a half that costs a lot of money for an unknown reason. But let's go with the simple spiral notebook and add image. Now I'm gonna go back to my browsing tool and see if I have something really cool to put in here. I love the BE Beautiful, and there's also We Are The People Means Everyone, which I think will look nicer on a t-shirt. There really are some really awesome things from Creative Fabrica in this niche. I'm gonna drag this up here, and this was our little flower. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to layer, and this layer has a background, so I will add the color from the background myself, minimizing this design a little bit. And if I'm looking into a line, I'm going to align it to the center of both parts. And this will be my notebook. Left side, right side. And before I click on done, I'm going to click on the preview again, just because I want to be able to save this photo here. Maybe even a photo from like on an angle from my cover. No. And then I'm going to go to done. And after that, click on sell the design and fill everything out just like I need to do with the other one. But I want one more item to design so I can make my banner for my store. So let's go to create. And this time what I want to create is a puzzle. Do I want to create it? But we have a t-shirt. Uh, we have a notebook. We have wrapping paper. So either let's do a sticker or a mug. Let's do a mug. I like mugs. And here we have the combo mugs of two tones, which I kind of like. We also have a glass tumbler, which could be kind of cute, and the latte mug. I don't see latte mugs in a lot of stores. I kind of really like them, as well as I don't really see the combo mugs of 15 ounces with a lot of stores. So Zazzle does really have a lot of mugs and I really like the frosted glass mug. Let's go with the with a combo mug. It is kind of cool. And for the combo mug, oh yeah, that might be a really good option. And let's add ourselves an image and put this on this side. Yes, I really do love this. We the people means everyone. It's a really, really strong and powerful message and I really, really like it. And I'm going to align it between these two and then I'm going to duplicate it by simply clicking on Ctrl C, Ctrl V. So I just got another one. I'm going to try to align it between these and either have this mug go this way with this side and the other side. And I can also make it all the way around. So I can duplicate this again with Ctrl V, Ctrl C and drop this in the middle. Let's just align all of these to be in the exact middle horizontally speaking and we can check out the mug I think it's a bit too much I'm going to remove the center and before I click on done obviously I'm going to grab a screenshot of this and the next thing you're going to need to do is go and click on sell it and fill out the form now, as I said, one of the reasons why I keep on saving this is because I want the option to have a banner in my store that is made for my products. And that is pretty much the final thing we're going to do here. I'm going to go to Pride Month Shop. And there are a variety of places writing down the sizes. But I found that the size 2720 by 760 to be the best. It's the size that you can see here. And I'm going to go here to my desktop and I'm going to grab all of these. and. Scroll them down here. You can see a bunch of my quirky little photos. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to align them within this place. If you have a certain branding, if you have a certain name, if you have a certain tagline that is really important to you, a certain message that you want to give out, if you have your own logo, this will be the place to do it. But for me, for now, I really do like cover photos that are simply made from, you know, product photos. And this one, let's send it to the back to look a bit more, a bit better. And this is what I have here. Let me just download this. No need for a transparent background. 
go back to my pride shop and update my banner by clicking on change, dragging this design here. And let's see if the size fits and it fits almost perfectly. I do have to say, and I love it. So this is the pride month shop. I'm going to be working more on that shop. Uh, for the next few weeks because I do think that it's a nice project. It will also get me more familiarized with the platform. But as I said, there are so many things that we can do with Zazzle. And I want to get back to myself for a bit and make myself bigger to have a little bit of, a, I don't know, last words about this specific part of the tutorial of Zazzle and what's to be expected from the series and how does that apply to you and your stores. I would first uh, like to start with, uh, if you like this video or found this content useful, please hit the like button down below. It really does help my channel every single time you do that. And subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. The process of what we did here, the pride shop, obviously I know that might not be everything you would have looked for in a tutorial like this. And seriously, I was going over and over in my head, how am I supposed to do an uploading tutorial to Zazzle? when there are 1500 products. So I was kind of trying to skip from product to product just to show you that some products have multiple layers. Some of them have the front and the back. It was really important for me to go over the tiling effect as well as to show you guys bugs that I can pretty much recreate every five minutes because their system does have a lot of bugs. I did want to share this with you guys with these specific products because I do think that they're nice. However, as we've learned on the part two of the Zazzle series, what we think might be nice or what we know are good products from other print and demand platforms might not apply for Zazzle. And what applies mostly for Zazzle are products that people can customize themselves that are meant to be customized, which is exactly why we have the Zazzle tutorial part four coming up on Saturday and part five coming up on June 2nd with 35 plus Zazzle shop ideas. I don't really have a lot more to say about this shop. I do know that I might want to just play around with it more today. Maybe take those designs from Creative Fabrica and upload them more. For those of you who don't know what Creative Fabrica is and think, oh my God, did she just steal art from a bunch of people? Creative Fabrica is an online market that allows you to get commercial use approved and print and demand approved graphics and fonts. It was featured here on this channel many, many times. The cost of Creative Fabrica is $29 a month and viewers of this channel can check a link down below for the first month for $1.35 lifetime discount. I will also leave a link down below, well, links to all of the things that I just showed you with the Pride Month and hope that you guys like it. I am going to work more and more on this shop and I'm thinking even to leave a link down below to the shop so you guys can go ahead and check out and get ideas from it. Obviously, you can also do the exact same thing that I'm doing as I'm using elements from Creative Fabrica. But just so you know, whenever you're going to these stores to get inspired, try to make it a bit your own. First, you will never know if someone actually has a trademark on something or it's their intellectual property. And second, you know, just to be unique online. And of course, you can take all of this information and use these ideas for Redbubble, for TeePublic, for Society6, or even check out videos on Redbubble and Society6 for ideas on how to design on Zazzle. I do know that there are so many videos coming up in this series and including a, a lot of product reviews because I have here like a duffel bag from Printful filled with Zazzle products all of a sudden. And I do know that I want to be able to give you more specific tutorials on designing a specific product. And I would love to know what that product is. So if you have any specific products or product niches that you're interested in with Zazzle, please comment that down below. One last thing before I go, and another link that you will find down below in the description is the link to a Google form for the Ask Me Anything video coming up on Monday, May 30th for Creativity Day. So uh, for Creativity Day, I decided to answer some of your creative questions. There is a Google form link down below to submit any question you have for me about print and demand, about printables, about myself, and I will be answering these questions on the 30th. But with that being said, that was it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you tomorrow with a special Design With Me video and on Saturday with part four. But till then, have an awesome day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!